<laughs> Welcome back. This is a practice to both calm and energize you because there are some days where whether it's just moving some stagnant energy or maybe helping to collect a scattered state of mind so that we can do whatever we need to do or simply just be more present. Um, we need both elements in the mix. We need to be both calmed and energized, grounded and, um, and inspired and motivated to move forward. So when you're ready, take a comfortable seat. And I like to sit on a blanket or a block or maybe a folded up pillow or a, a towel can work for you too. But just something to raise your hips up above your knees so that you have a nice comfortable seat and the hip flexors aren't working so hard to keep you upright. And so when you're ready, find that comfortable seat, whatever that looks like, and maybe that's laying down on your back. But you're going to just settle in and rock a little bit from side to side. I always like to sneak my hands under my bum and just move that flesh out <laughs> underneath me so I feel more connected to my sit bones. So when you're ready, and close your eyes. Or perhaps it's even just allowing the eyes to soften and slowly flutter closed a few blinks of the eyes. And we're gonna start by taking a few cleansing rounds of breath. My breathing in through the nose and exhaling out through the mouth. In through the nose, long exhale out. On this next exhale, so breathe in. Make the exhale even longer. And gently purse your lips. And stack the head over top the rest of your spine and feel the shoulders slide away from the ears. Breathe in and out through the nostrils so that you start to hear this whooshing sound of the breath. Maybe feel a slight tone of the muscles in the back of your throat to create that sound. And just breathe, just be. Meet yourself exactly where you are on the mat today. There's no need to judge or assign value to anything. And give yourself a moment to notice and feel. And we're gonna begin with a little bit of breath work. This is called Villaroma Pranayama. So you've, when you're ready, open your eyes. And it's a three part breath, which starts with a breath into the bottom of your belly and then makes its way up to that middle third section here between the navel and the heart. And then you're gonna breathe all the way up from the heart to the top of your lungs and exhale out to release. Yeah, and, and sometimes you can do that exhalation in a three part as well, but we're just gonna start with building up that three part breath. And there are times when I feel like I really need that hand on my heart or my hand on my belly to guide that breath and to create that awareness of the midsection and the torso, which is especially helpful if you're a shallow breather. So, <laughs> like a shallow mouth breather, which sounds terrible, but you know what I mean. So when you're ready, <laughs> Roll your shoulders up to your ears, let them slide down your back. And take a deep breath in to begin. Let's just exhale, exhale it all out. And take a little sip of breath in, low belly fills. Another sip of air, midsection. And final sip, fill all the way up to the top of your lungs. And then exhale, let it go. Breathing in and out through the nostrils. Inhale, fill the lower third, middle, the top, and exhale. And keep going just like that. Inhale, lower third, inhale, mid, 
Inhale all the way. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, lower third. Inhale, middle. Inhale, top. Exhale, release. Inhale, lower third. Inhale, middle. Inhale, upper third. Exhale, release. Inhale, lower third. Inhale, middle. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Inhale. Inhale all the way. And exhale, let it go. Last time, inhale, lower third. Exhale, middle. Inhale, top. And exhale, release. Return to your normal way of breathing. Maybe finding that whooshing sound, that toning in the back of the throat. And just notice the difference. Maybe you feel a little bit of levity and lightness. And then slowly blinking the eyes open if they're closed. In your seated position, place your hand on your knees and start to circle the torso. So as you circle the chest forward, you can bend the elbows and put some pressure on the hands to keep yourself from rocking too much. And on the exhale, see if you can tone your navel to build some core awareness and control. And take another circle in this direction. And then switch directions. And exhale, roll back, inhale forward. Start to make it really organic and sync the movement with the breath. And we'll take three more. Two more. One more. And slowly return to center and slide that prop out from underneath you if you're using it. And let's come on to our hands and knees. Curl the toes under, walk the hands slightly forward and draw your navel in as you stretch your hips back into an active child's pose. You can gently lower the third eye, the forehead to the mat, however you want to imagine that. And dig those toes underneath you. Actively reach through the bones of the arms, the finger pads, even stretch through the webbing of your hands. Feel everything start to light up. And take a deep breath in. Exhale, pull your belly and your ribs in and then slowly lift your hips up off of the heels. Walk the hands forward even more. Coming into puppy pose, the toes stay curled underneath you. The low belly and the ribs draw in as the sternum reaches forward and start to soften in the back of the heart. As the arms stay lifted, you'll feel a big stretch in the front of your chest as the head slowly descends down to the floor and the ribs keep pulling in and up to support the weight of your spine. Let the head just sink down into the floor. And breathe. Slowly lifting yourself up. Just for a moment, walk the hands in. And we're gonna come into a form of rabbit pose. And then placing the forehead down onto the, onto the mat, roll to the crown of your head. So you'll know right away if this is not great for your head or your neck. If so, come right back into an active child's. If not, see if you can sweep your hands behind you. Squeeze the shoulders away from the ears, extend the arms up and overhead, and just lean to the crown of your head, but let the energetic pull of your hands upward lighten that load. Such a great spot for relieving uh, symptoms of depression. Boosting your mood. 
and quite literally changing our perspective. Take another breath in here. Actively reach the arms away from the head. And then slowly curl yourself all the way up onto your knees. You can tuck the toes under or untuck them here and just draw the, um, the knuckles down, the tailbone down. Let the chest pull up towards the ceiling like a balloon is floating up towards the sky. And gently releasing back down. Let's come on to our hands and knees and this time come right into a downward facing dog. And then in your downward facing dog, try not to judge it. So it's the first dog, it always feels like you're just ironing out the kinks. Now focus a lot on reaching through the fingers. And as you settle into this shape, I want you to really feel that space in between the forefinger and the thumb, that webbing there. And spread it nice and wide, press forward and down into the hands and stretch your hips back, but maintain that awareness of that space in between the first two fingers. And take a deep breath in. Exhale, breathe it out through the mouth. And know at any point if you have a lot of tension, and that's just kind of accumulating in the body, yoga can be very evocative in that way that you can release through the mouth, kind of like releasing the pressure valve. <laughs> and unhinge the, or not unhinge the jaw, but just soften the hinges of your jaw, maybe a little uh, 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 side to side. And then from here, you're gonna curl the tailbone underneath you and then slowly roll forward to the top of plank. And inhale and stretch your right leg up and back. And then exhale to take the right knee over to the left side and breathe everything out. Inhale, stretch back. Exhale, left knee to right tricep, breathe out. Inhale, extend back, exhale, switch sides. Inhale, switch, exhale, twist. Inhale, a little faster. And three, two, one. And with the right leg twisted to the left, inhale, stretch your right leg up and back, three-legged dog. Exhale to step it all the way through, pull the belly in. And inhale and extend the spine forward. Step all the way to the top of your mat. Bend the knees generously, fold forward. Let it all go. And plug down into your feet. Inhale, half lift, hands slide up to shins. And exhale, fold. Press down into your feet. Inhale, sweep the arms up and overhead. Exhale, gather your hands together in front of your heart. And take a moment to breathe. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Tailbone reaches down. Feel the press of your feet as you bend forward to touch the floor. Inhale, half lift. And then exhale, step right back into plank and shift back into downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. Exhale it out. Curl the tailbone under the low belly lifts as you roll to plank. Inhale and lift the left leg, reach back through the ball down of your foot and exhale, twist and cross it to the right tricep. Let's do those mountain climbers, breathing in and out really quickly as you switch. Last time, end on the left. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, step it all the way forward. Step the right foot forward to meet it. Fold forward, touch the floor. Inhale, half lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale, sweep arms up. Press down into your feet as you extend through the crown of your head and bring your hands to heart. And inhale, sweep up. And exhale, hinge forward. Inhale, half lift. 
exhale and bow. Plant the hands down, step back to plank, shift back downward facing dog. This time lift the right leg up and back. And exhale, come all the way forward to plank. Keep the right leg lifted. Exhale, twist it to the left. Same thing on this first side. Last time. And on the right, inhale, breathe that right leg long. Exhale to step it all the way through. And this time, lowering the back knee to the mat. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hug the legs in, sink a little lower in the pelvis if that feels okay on the front of your hip. One more breath in, reach up. And exhale, fold forward, touch the floor. And step forward to the top of your mat and bow. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. And use the support of the strong feet and legs beneath you to, to rise all the way up to stand. Exhale, hands to heart. And inhale, breathe the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step back, plank pose. Engage your low ribs and your belly in. Extend the spine long. Stretch back to downward dog. And take a moment to set your foundation, set your gaze. Tap back into your breath. And on your exhale, draw your belly in. Ride that next inhalation up to lift the left leg. And step it, or I'm sorry, shift all the way forward to plank. That's a habit. <laughs> And then those Kapalabhati breaths of that mountain climber, that's what that breathing is called. So we're gonna tap the left knee to the right tricep, breathing out, and let's go. Last time, and on the left, breathe the left leg up, three-legged dog. Exhale, step it all the way through into your low lunge. Lowering the back knee to the mat, squeeze the legs in. Again, from a strong and steady foundation, breathe the arms up, bend forward, hug the legs in. And paying close attention to that front left heel as it squeezes in to support you. And then fold forward, touch the floor. Step all the way forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale to fold. And plug the feet down, stretch the arms up. And exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, breathe up. Breathe arms up. <laughs> exhale, fold forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant the hands down, step back to plank. Hold here in plank. Round the shoulders apart from each other, off the back, so the upper back is and puffing up towards the ceiling. And hug the legs in, and breathe the spine long. Lower all the way down to your belly. Bending the elbows straight back behind you. Round, uh, I'm sorry, wrap your shoulders back. Press down to the tops of your feet to lift up baby cobra. And exhale, lower the forehead back down to the mat. And we're gonna breathe. In for a count of four as you lift. One, two, three, four. And exhale down for four, three, two, and one. Keep doing that twice more. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, four, three, two, one, exhale, one, two, three, and four. Curl your toes under, stretch yourself up and back, downward facing dog. Deep and full breath in. And just notice how you feel. And as things have been stirred up, can you bring your awareness back to 
your hands and your feet and specifically the webbing in between your finger pads and even the two points that are in between the big toe and the second toe. Imagine there was a big rectangle on the floor underneath you. And just breathe. On your next inhale, lift up onto your tiptoes. Exhale to bend your knees, look forward. Draw the belly in, hop or step to the top of your mat. And folding forward. If you need to bend the knees slightly, then that's totally fine. We don't want to stress out the low back. So don't try to push it here. And bend the knees and sweep the arms up into Utkatasana, chair pose. Imagine you were hugging a block in between your thighs and squeeze the legs in as you ground down into the heels. And gather your hands together in front of your heart just to take the load off your shoulders and bring that awareness to your core. Now plug the belly in towards your back. Lean to your right. Hover the left toes up off the floor and slowly stretch your left leg back behind you into lunge. And stretch the arms up and overhead. And bend into your front thigh. And breathing into the back of the heart. Can you stack your head right over your spine? Try not to reach it forward. And on your next inhale, lift up and lengthen. Feel the ribs lift off the hips. Exhale, squeeze the belly in and open the right arm back behind you to twist. Squeeze the inner thighs together. Inhale, breathe back through center. Exhale, hug the belly in as you twist. Inhale, sweep back up. Exhale, open and twist. Inhale, reach back through center. And then spin the back heel down and land in warrior two. Line up the front heel with the back arch. And stretch through the arms and gaze forward over your front middle finger. Can you feel that space, the webbing in between your big toe mount and your second toes here? And then sweep the arms up and overhead, looking forward, or sort of, and cross your right elbow over your left. Maybe take a double wrap of the hands into eagle arms. And keep the legs strong here as you tip your, le your head towards the left and your hands to the right to get a nice stretch in the right side of your neck. And just breathe. And untangle the arms and sweep them out from front to back. Flip your front palm and drop your left hand to the back leg and reverse your warrior. And tone the navel in and up. Feel the feet plug down. Imagine those points in between the first and second toes. And then slowly return back to center. And lower the hands all the way down to the floor and step right back into plank pose. Exhale to lower all the way down to your belly and sweep the arms out in front of you. Lower the forehead to the mat. Just breathe here for a moment. Press down into the tops of your toes. Spread them wide. Inhale, lift everything up into this Superman variation of locust pose. Squeeze the inner thighs in. Draw your pubic bone towards your sternum and lengthen through the crown of your head. Lift up a little higher using the muscles on the back chain of the body to pull you up. And exhale to release. The forehead taps back down. Just let that sensation of pressure ground you. And then curl the toes under. Lift up and back, downward facing dog. Mm. And tap back into that sense of support. And inhale up onto your tiptoes. Exhale, bend your knees and step or hop to the top of your mat. Fold forward. Inhale, sweep the arms up. And then exhale, sit back chair. Feel that sense of hugging in towards the midline, but also this lengthening out from front to back. Draw your hands to heart center. 
and press the finger pads together and let that contact keep you centered here as you lean to the left, hug your outer left hip in and step your right leg back into a lunge. It's okay if you wobble or maybe fall out of it. <laughs> and just come right back into the shape. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Inhale and lift to lengthen the spine. And then exhale, cinch the waistline in and you'll slowly twist open into your open lunge twist. Inhale back through center. Exhale, twist slowly. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. Inhale, back to center and hold here. Feel your legs. Notice your breath. Unclench your jaw. Even drop your tongue from the roof of your mouth. And let's open up into warrior two. I'm gonna switch myself around. Here we go, warrior two. And inhale the arms up and overhead to frame your head. And this time you're gonna cross your left elbow over your right, either pressing the backs of the hands or the palms together. Lift the elbows away from the floor, feel the stretch on the outer shoulders, on the back of the heart. And then slowly tip your hands to the left, head to the right. Really good brain food. <laughs> and squeezing the hands and pressing them together. And drop your right ear to your shoulder. Just enjoy this stretch. Breathe into it. Hmm. And release the arms, warrior two. And press down into your feet. Imagine those points there. Flip your front palm, reverse your warrior, and draw the front body in and up. Inhale and stretch. And then exhale, release. Take the hands all the way down to the floor. Step right back into plank pose, lower to the belly. And this time, you're gonna interlace your hands behind the back of your head, that upper part of the skull. Lower your forehead down to the mat, lower your elbows to the floor. And just take your breath in. And on the exhale, press down into the front of your pelvis, drop pubic bone and sternum in towards each other, shortening the front body. Pressing down to the tops of the toes, inhale, lift the head, reach through the crown, feel that sensation of levity in the upper body. Try not to struggle here, so you're just pressing the head up, widening the elbows apart. Don't over effort if there's any pain in the neck and just release what will hold here and maybe lift the legs. For three, two, and one. Whew. Slowly release the hands lower to your side. Just take one cheek to the mat and a deep breath into your belly. And exhale to let it all go. And when you're ready, slide yourself back into your downward facing dog. If you're at the back of your mat like me, we're just gonna turn ourselves back around. And deep and full breath in. Inhale up onto your tiptoes. Exhale to bend your knees. Look forward, step or hop to the top of your mat and fold. Inhale right into chair. Exhale, hands to heart. Lean into your right foot. Squeeze your right heel into the mat as you float back into your lunge. Inhale, breathe the arms up. And exhale to draw that front body in, cinching at the waistline. Inhale and lift. Exhale, twist. Inhale, lift. Exhale, twist. Inhale, lift. Exhale, twist. Inhale, lift. Exhale, warrior two. And one breath here in warrior two. Inhale to breathe the arms up. 
Exhale, eagle wrap of the arms, lift the shoulders, stretch the backs of the shoulder blades, and tip your hands and your head in opposite direction. Hands to the right, head drops to the left. Untangle the arms. Inhale, reverse your warrior. One deep breath in here. Exhale, use the strength of your belly to bring yourself back into your lunge. Spin your back heel up and step all the way forward to the top of your mat. Sink back into chair. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, chair. Inhale, press up. The palms spin open. Exhale, chair. On this next press up, just hold Tadasana here, reaching through the fingers. Feel the webbing in between your first and your second uh, fingers. And even feel your head stack over the rest of your spine. And softening the jaw, set your gaze. Imagining this lift through the crown of the head and the upper palate as you hold mountain pose for one more round of breath. And then from here, sink right back into chair. I'm going to turn to face you. It's a little bit easier this way. And then hover the right foot. Yes, the right foot <laughs> off the floor. Hands can come to heart, hands can come to hips, whatever feels better for you. Now let's take this figure four shape. I always like to bring my hands to my heart center. It just reminds me to hug in towards my midline. But if you feel steadier with your hand resting on your leg or the bottom of the foot, then just find that shape that supports you. And hinging at the hips to reach the bum and the head away from each other. Think booty back. <laughs> Good, and from here, you're gonna lift the torso, keep that left knee bent, and then cross the right leg over for eagle. And maybe it's just one wrap, maybe the back, uh, the ankle hooks behind the back of the left shin. And slowly take the opposite cross of the arms, squeezing everything in towards the middle. Inhale to lift the elbows. Exhale to hug in and plug the left foot down. Engage your belly. And more importantly, engage your breath. Good. And then you're slowly going to unravel the arms, unravel the legs, and step yourself out wide. Inhale the arms up. Palms open. Turn the toes out. Lift your chest. Pressing down through the inner webbings of your toes, reaching and stretching from the inner webbings of your hands. Feel this sense of liberty, liberty, levity and lightness. Exhale, turn the toes out. Maybe walk your feet out more, dip down into goddess, press the knees apart from each other. And then inhale, stretch back up, star pose. And exhale and turn the toes forward. Let's fold all the way forward and touch the floor. Prasarda Patudanasana, standing wide legged forward fold. And inhale and stretch your chest forward. And from here, turn your toes forward, right toes forward. And walk yourself towards the top of your mat. Wiggle that left foot back behind you. And, and walk your hands onto the inside of your front foot. Turn your right toes out slightly. Just dial them out a couple of degrees there. And you can go as wide as you like in the feet. Remain on your hands or maybe lower down onto the elbows into lizard. And think of that sensation like you did down on your belly of the pubic bone and the sternum kind of drawing in towards each other. So there, there's no collapsing in the back. I'm just this gentle feeling of lift and support. And it's trying to strike that balance between effort and ease, which we might not always find so easily. But just knowing that we can't be too rigid in our practice, that the breath can't come and soften those edges. Take one more round of breath here. 
And we're going to transition right into Vashistasana, side plank. Plant the left hand down. Spread the fingers wide again. The webbing in between the fingers are your reference point there. And start to heel toe your right foot all the way to the middle of your mat. The right arm stretches up high to the sky. And maybe that right leg steps back to meet the left. Plug the left shoulder back. Hug the belly in, lift your hips, hug the inner thighs together. Now find one more breath here to lengthen and reach through the crown of your head. Exhale to release. Step back, downward facing dog. Soften any clench in the jaw or tension in your face. And then from here, breathe up onto your tiptoes. Exhale to bend your knees. Hop or step <laughs> to the top of your mat. And then from here, bend your knees. Sink your hips back, chair pose. Exhale, hands to heart. Lean to your left. Float the right foot up and step it back into a lunge. Inhale, breathe the arms up and overhead. Exhale, twist open. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, twist. Inhale, up. Exhale, twist. Inhale, up. One smooth breath to transition, warrior two. Lining up the front heel with the arch of your back foot. And sink the weight into your feet. Press your left knee out to the side. Stretch arms up. Exhale, left elbow crosses over the right. And dip your head and your hands away from each other. Enjoy this side neck stretch. And pull the belly in. Unravel the hands. Flip your front palm. Inhale up and back into your reverse warrior. Feel that right side body cinching it up to support the opening on the left side. And slowly release and take your hands all the way down to the floor. And from here, you're going to step yourself forward and come right back into chair. And bring your hands to your heart. Lean to the right foot. Hover the left foot up just enough to calibrate that movement and that balance as you come into your figure four. And as we are wont to do, that right hip is going to splay out to the side. So do your best to hug it in and keep the hips even. Flexing the toes of your left foot simultaneously to keep that left knee joint safe. On your inhale, reaching through the crown of your head. Gathering your hands back together in front of your heart. Lift the upper body slightly and take your eagle wrap in the legs. Maybe it's a double wrap of the arms, double wrap of the legs. And squeeze the hands together. Squeeze the legs together. And take a deep breath in. Feel the back of your heart expand. And then slowly release, unravel your limbs and step out wide into your star pose. Stretching the arms up and overhead, reach actively through the hands. Feel the shoulder blades move back to puff the heart forward and lift through the crown of your head. Hold this shape. Lift and tone the low belly. And breathe. And take the, hand, the feet out a little bit wider. And bend the arms and bend the legs, dip down into goddess pose. Inhale, stretch the arms back up. And then turn the toes forward. Hands come to the hips as you fold forward. Hinging at the hips, the soft bend in the knees. And so this, just so that you take the edge off of that hamstring stretch if it's really intense. And plug the feet down. Let the head and the neck go. And a little nod, yes and no. 
and exhale out through the mouth if that feels necessary. And know that you have these tools to manage these stressors. And it's okay just to release that pressure valve when you need it. And inhale to stretch the chest forward. And then turn your left toes towards the back of your mat and walk your hands onto the inside of your front foot. The back heel spins up and the back knee draws down to the floor. Walk your left foot out as far as you like. You can dial the toes out on an angle or point them forward, forward whatever feels best. And as you draw the heart forward, even feel that lift and length through the upper palate and the back of the, of the back of the head. And slowly lower down onto your elbows if that's available. You can always use your yoga blocks or blanket to lift the floor. And send breath into the tension in the outer left hip if that's really present for you. And feel this sense of calm. Even if it's not quite there, just close your eyes for a moment and feel every part of your body that's touching the floor. Let the breath wash through you. And gather the front body in. Lift back up onto your hands. And side plank on the right side. So plant that right hand down, turn the hand out slightly, and again, focusing on the webbing between the L of your right hand. And start to walk your left foot back, plug your left shoulder back, turn the chest open and lift the low belly. If you like, you can take your left leg to stack over your bottom. And drawing your pubic bone and your low ribs in towards each other to shorten that front body. Maybe stretch the left arm up, reach from the tailbone through the crown of your head. And now take a breath in, press down through that bottom hand. Good, exhale, slowly release. Downward facing dog. Inhale, rock forward. Exhale, lower to your belly. Untuck your toes, wrap your shoulders back, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, release. Tuck your toes, press yourself back, child's pose. And it's important to know that sometimes we might not need one thing, but our practice has this more multi-dimensional quality to it. So even if we're feeling scattered or anxious, maybe a little down or overwhelmed, sometimes it's that combination to move the stagnation of that energy up and out of the body. It's Gets us going again, shifts our perspective. Go ahead and turn over onto your back. But also know that sometimes that intensity can be aggravating or irritating and that might not be exactly what you need either. So just let this practice be one that informs you that's as free as judgment as possible and is more of an inquiry into yourself and what you need to give yourself to take good care. And as you bend your knees, walk your feet in a little closer to your hips. Make sure the toes are pointing forward and the shoulders are dropping down into the floor. Bend the elbows. Squeeze the shoulders together, press down to the backs of the arms so that you feel this broadening across the collarbones, this lift in the upper chest. And on your inhale, press down to your feet, lift your hips up and squeeze the legs in, squeeze the heels in energetically so you feel those hamstrings start to talk. And maybe clasp your hands underneath you, walk the shoulders under one at a time. And depending on how you're feeling, you can either hold bridge pose 
or we're gonna dial it up a little bit. Press down into your left foot. Start to pull your right knee in towards the chest and extend long through that right leg into a one-legged bridge. Flex the toes towards your nose. Keep squeezing that left heel in. Take a breath, chin away from your chest. And slowly release the right foot down. Shift to the right, plug your right foot down, float the left leg up. Try not to sink the hips, keep them lifted. Don't dip the chin into the chest. Clear pathway for breath. And exhale, release. Lower your hips all the way to the floor. Whew. And take a deep breath in. Breathe it all out. And keep a nice steady gaze. A nice steady cadence of your breath. And drop your tongue down from the roof of your mouth. Maybe a little wiggle of the jaw or an exhale out. <sighs> Letting the front body settle down. And drop your knees to the left. You can take your arms out into a cactus shape or stretch them out like a T. And taking your gaze to the right side, soak up one more round of breath here. And then inhale, windshield wiper the legs over to the right. I always like to shift my hips just so that as I land in my twist on the other side, it stacks nicely. And notice if a wider stance in the legs is easier on your back. And then slowly floating the knees back to center. Press down into your feet, wiggle your hips back to the center of the mat and extend the arms and the arms to your side, legs out nice and long into Shavasana. And let the eyes close. Feel the muscles soften. Any tension in the body just melting away like warm butter. Scanning your body from head to toe, just allow the sensation of laying on the ground draw you down. There's nowhere to go. Nowhere to be. Nothing to do but just be here. Hold this space for yourself to rest. And take a deep breath in. And exhale it all out. And slowly draw your knees into your chest. Roll over to one side and slowly press yourself up to sit. And finding a comfortable seat, we'll close our practice by bringing our hands together in front of our heart, bowing our chin down to our chest. In gratitude to you, thank you so much for being here with me today.